What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a desert. Now for this video I'm going to show you guys how to draw one start to finish and instead of coloring it in my sketchbook, you know, markers, colored pencil, mixed media, you know how I do. Instead of doing that I'm going to take the finished drawing into Procreate and color it there. So let's get to it. So when I'm drawing any kind of environment I like to start out with the foreground then work our way towards the middle ground and then work our way towards the background. So the foreground is pretty much what we will see first because you see how my hands are in the camera? That's where the foreground is. So that's the part of the drawing that we'll end up seeing first. So before we draw one, let's think. What does a desert have? Sand, cacti, and like big large, I'd say red rocks. What I was thinking is that we can draw two cacti, one on this side, one on the other side, but one will kind of go like a little off the page. So let's say this one on this side can go off the page. The one that's going to be over here, it can be close to the edge of the page, but it won't like be cut off in any way. So when I'm drawing cactuses, I like to make an upside down tear shape. And I like to make it a little bit curvy, something like this. And then make like a stem which will kind of uh, reflect that shape. And I know I said the cactus won't be cut off, but we want to make room for the entire desert. Because the cactus I drew already takes up about a third of the page. So we want to make room for, you know, everything else. The cactus will end up being cut off, but not very much. And then this other one can go like uh, something like this. And it can also have one of those arms as well. Okay, and then what you can also do is you can make sort of like small sand hills. And that looks good in a foreground. And then maybe I want to include some, you know, like small cactuses with like this kind of shape. And then have it like, um, have like a little flower on it. And I put it on this side because this cactus is kind of being cut off like on the edge of the page. So I included that there to give some sort of balance to the piece. Or at least to the foreground. But you guys get it. But yeah, I drew this cactus. And that really completes the foreground really. But also, since we're drawing cactuses, cactuses have spikes on them. So I'm not going to focus too much on the spikes. Because I want to make the spikes on the cactus sort of like an after effect. Something that I can put on the cactuses after I finish coloring it. But since we're not at that stage yet, we're just going to ink the cactuses how they are. Alright, so our foreground is drawn now. Now we can transition forward and work towards the middle ground. So when we draw the middle ground, we can make like a horizon line if we want. I'm going to place it, like say, right about here is a good spot. And then, what else do deserts have? Deserts have like sand hills, desert plants. When I do the sand hills, I like to make like one big hill. Coming down and coming back up. Sort of like an M shape. Or like a wavelength or you know, but you know. In short, draw this shape. <laughs> and then what I like to do when I'm drawing deserts, I like to make some sort of a pathway. Something like this. It's not gonna actually be a pathway. It'll be just like a pathway of sand. Okay, so we got our pathway. It's not exactly gonna look like this when I ink it. It's just gonna look like it was pushed away with some sand almost. I'm just going to include like patches of sand along this line maybe, along this line too. So what else can we draw? We can draw like more desert plants. We can draw more of cactuses that look like this. Um, maybe a tiny cactus that looks like this as well. And uh, whatever other desert plants there are. So I'm going to include another one of these cactuses over here.
and then maybe a desert plant i don't know what this is called but a desert has like a very dry climate so maybe like a fresh leafy green plant that may have dried up or maybe a soon to form tumbleweed i don't know an exact name for it but it's gonna look like a bunch of straws put together <laughs> like that's my way of describing it but um hopefully you can get a feel of what i'm talking about because i'm drawing it But yeah, the desert plant that I'm drawing, it'll, it'll look like this. And then I'm just gonna add maybe like some patches of sand here and there. And sand has some dots that I wanna include as well. And then behind it all, we can still include this as a middle ground. We can add like another hill that kind of reflects the ones that we just drew. Of course, this portion of the drawing won't be seen as much, but it gives us like an extra space to work with. So we can draw like another cactus. I'd say right about here is a good spot. Of course, it's at a distance, so it's not gonna be the same size as these two ones. Then maybe we could add another one back here. And if you wanna make this pathway continuous, as if you wanna place it like right over here, you can do that. Or if your pathway isn't shown at this portion of the drawing, then you don't have to include it. But yeah, so these two hills are both the middle ground. All right, now that the foreground and middle ground are already drawn, now we can go all the way to the back and do the background. For the background, I like to get rid of this horizon line. Let's think, what else do deserts have? Like I mentioned before, deserts have like big, I wanna say red rocks. I don't know the name for those kind of rocks, but that's what we're gonna draw because I see it on deserts a lot. So when I'm drawing this kind of rock, let's draw one right back here. I like to make it into like a cube and have a little, another rock right next to it, like so. Then we're gonna draw like another one over here, but it's not gonna be the same shape as this. So it's gonna be like oddly shaped because it's a rock, it's made by nature. So it's not gonna have like an exact cube shape or an exact spherical shape or an exact pyramid shape. So that's why it's okay to go crazy with this kind of rock structure, which is kind of what I just did. Then you can make the rocks a little bit jaggedy if you want. But of course, they're all the way in the background. So any textures that you might want to add, like if the texture is that much visible from all the way back here, then it's okay to include it. Like all the smallest details on a rock, you don't need to include because, you know, the rock is way back here. So maybe like a crack in it, maybe. Like that could be a good detail. And like some jaggedy lines up here and also on the side. So when you're doing texture, you don't necessarily have to go with every single detail. Just go with the ones that you feel you can see from a distance. So let's go over here. You can make like a jaggedy lines up here. Make it look good. And then we got some empty space right here. What can we put there? We can put maybe another hill. Keep in mind, we're still in the sketching phase, so if it doesn't work out, you can just erase it and try something different. And I think that kind of looks good. Maybe we can include that pathway. But it's gonna be super small compared to what we drew here because it's at a distance. And it's kind of weird that there's no continuation of this pathway on this hill because maybe the pathway continues past this cactus shape here, which obviously we won't see because you know the cactus is in the way, it's behind it. And then the pathway continues all the way over here. So we could say that we got the foreground, middle ground, and the background could be the rocks, and then an additional sand hill over here. That we can place as the background. But you can also consider the sky. Like say, you can add some clouds. I wanna space them out a little bit because I don't want them too close to the rocks. And maybe like a small cloud here, just to fill that negative space. But we also want the picture to breathe. So we don't exactly wanna fill this entire area until it can't take anymore, you know? But yeah, there's our desert. Let me ink the rest of it and then come back to you guys. All right, and that's our fully drawn desert. Now like, I said from the now, like I said from the beginning, I'm gonna take this drawing into Procreate, give it some color, and then explain to you what I did. So let's go.
All right, and that's how you color a desert. Here's my layer lineup so you guys can see how exactly I added some color. The cacti and the rocks have their own separate layers for shading. And for the cacti, I made a layer for the stripy pattern and a layer for the spikes. For the sand, I had to use two different layers for the shading and then an additional layer for the texture throughout. I also kept the highlights on a separate layer so then I can make it into a clipping mask layer and add some color. That way I'd be giving my piece colored highlights. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the drawing. If you liked it or if you liked my video, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like